Yeah, well, I've decided to get myself the UAD2 um, custom pack. Uh, I've got the Octo card, as you can see down there. It cost me 1500 well, approximately that price. I was going to go and get myself the, um, the Quad custom pack, but for an extra 350 you're getting twice the power. Now, I'm putting this alongside the TC Power Core, which I've had for 11 years, and that's served me fairly well. I'm diving in with this one. It's the new baby on the block for me. And uh, we'll see how we get on with it. What you get with the um, Octo Custom Pack is obviously the card. But you also get this little catalogue which is very, very uh, designer. And very good looking. And also you get a one page printout of how to run the software, how to install it. Word of a warning, install the software first before installing the card. I think that's how they want you to run it. Um, I'm going to move on to the next stage and see what it's all about. Right, here's a little shot of my rig with the various cards inside there. As you can see, I've uh, placed the UAD2 Octo card in there. It's for rifle PCIe slots and there's various other PCIe cards and PCI cards there. If you look along the side there, that nice long green thing, that happens to be the TC Power Core card. Right, a word of note for anybody that's actually getting a UAD card, do your homework. Because uh, I looked on the UAD site to make sure if there was any going to be some configuration settings that's going to cause problems or there'll be some trouble with uh, whatever the UAD cards. And there are various motherboards that are not compatible with the UAD card. They're virtually kryptonite to the UAD card. Now, Dell has a couple of motherboards. Check the make and model of those motherboards. If they are the same as what you've got, don't bother with the UAD card unless you're planning to buy a new motherboard. Also, some Intel motherboards as well are not compatible with the UAD card. So check the uh, model against what you see online on the UAD site and uh, hopefully everything goes right for you guys as well. I'm going to check out the UAD card now, put it in, the, in my setup and uh, see how it goes. I've had a quick little look on the monitor. The plugins are all seem to be working, it all seems to be working fine. We'll find out once I've set it up with the rest of my uh, setup. Uh, over and out. Right, so I've got the UAD card installed. Seems like all the plugins are running fairly well. I'm not going to labour too much on the plugins, so I'll just give you a fair idea of what's working and make up your own minds what you want to do with it. Right, uh, what I'm tending to do is obviously go to the channel and pick out the actual channel I'm going to be using um, what I'll do is I'll I'll put on a, a UAD plugin uh, let me see what can I put in um, I know I'll I'll use this Roland Echo if you can hear the effect already um, if I put a little bit of delay one I'll slow it down Probably put a bit of feedback. Yeah, that's not a bad one, there, is it? Uh, I'll try something else. Let's have a look. Go down to power plugins again. Um, I'll use the. I'll use the Reverb Pro. Hello. One. One, two, three. I'll shorten it. One, two, three. I'll elongate it a bit. Whoa. Not a bad reverb, that, actually. Um, try something else. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I'm trying out this lexicon. I suppose it's supposed to be really good. So let's have a listen to that. Hello. One, two, three. I'll try a few of the settings in there. Uh, try. It. 
Yeah, that's not bad actually. Um, looks like a few of the settings that they've got on the plugins are fairly good. I'll try something else. Oh yeah, I'll try this uh, chorus effect. Um, it's the Roland Diamond D. Try that. One, two, three. Hello. Ba -da -ba. One, two, three. I don't know if you can hear the effects of that going through. Try again. One, two, three. Hello. Ba -ba -ba. One, two, three. Hello. One, two, three. It's supposedly from one to four, you get a, a more intense level on each one. On each number, the higher the number, the more intense the chorus is supposed to be. Um, I'm not quite as impressed with this as I thought I would, because I've got a, a WAV plugin that I've mani manipulated myself, and I've got that really going really good, and it sounds a lot better than this, to tell you the truth. But um, it's a useful plugin that I bought. Um, I won't go any further than this because it'll probably bore you, but um, gives you a fair idea of some of the plugins that are on there. It does work with Cubase 5.1. Um, I've looked on the UAD site and it's, they were recommending Cubase 7. So I thought maybe I'd have to upgrade, but it's working very well and the latency is very good as well. I've read up on the latency on the UAD sites and the, saying that the, the latency has increased on one or two th things. But on my computer, it seems to be working fairly well. I'm very, very happy with it. I'll have to probably put down what motherboard I've got and maybe recommend that to one or two people. It's an Asus motherboard. Um, I'll have to try and make sure which one it is. I'm using an i7 core in there and I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. So maybe that's probably the sort of like the, the factor as to why it's working fairly well. So... Uh, I'll leave it at that. No, I won't bore you anymore. Just uh, giving you a little idea of the UAD Octo that I've got. Um, over and out.